What's up guys, it's your host Mr. Wealth Answer. And in this video guys, I just wanna share my opinion with Novatech and what's going on with, I guess, California's uh, cease and desist letter, which I'm gonna share uh, with you guys here. To begin, my name is Mark Ansa, um, AKA Mr. Wealth Ansa, and in this channel I like to talk about real estate mortgage and investments. Now, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, guys. So any information I present is just for educational purposes only. And I just want to give you guys my opinion and my take. Again, take it with a grain of salt. But I like to go with facts and I like to look at things in a very logical, non-emotional manner. So the first thing first is this. Novatech has been in business for three years, going into four years. A lot of people say they're a Ponzi scheme. Some people say they're not a Ponzi scheme. Some people say they're trading. Other people say they're not trading. And the truth is, I originally, I used to think they were trading, and then at one point I was like, what if they're not trading? But they did do a video, a web webinar, a presentation, where Cynthia talks about, Cynthia and Eddie, talks about the fact that they actually did trade. And they were actually being very transparent with the trades, but they ran into a couple of issues. And one of the major issues was the fact that they were doing thousands and thousands of trades, like in a month, over 20, thousand trades and it's just very tedious to have it basically everyone have access to the trades uh because people were calling in say hey this trade is down and if any of you have ever done trading you're gonna have drawbacks you're gonna have periods where you have drawdowns and as a trader myself you're gonna have periods where you make money and lose money it's just part of trading all right so let's go on and let's discuss this letter all right guys so here is the the system refrain order from the state of California. I'm not gonna go through all of it. I am gonna leave a link down below um, underneath this video so you guys can read it through. I've taken time to go through it. Just want to point out that there are a lot of things they're saying that has no validity. It talks about the co-founders, the background of the company, and how they've filed bankruptcy and that. And honestly, if to me it doesn't make sense because Nobody goes into any venture making a decision based on, hey, if somebody did something and they failed once, then that means what they're doing is whatever, not, not going to succeed. And we all know that even Donald Trump fought for bankruptcy so many times, but yeah, he's a billionaire and nobody stopped him from being the prime minister of the United States. So it's irrelevant, the past, that's part of the process of learning. I failed so many times and I've tried stuff and it hasn't worked. But doesn't mean that if I'm going to start another business venture, that's going to fail. All that is, is the opportunities that I tried that I didn't work. I just gained experience from it so that I continue to keep trying until one day something works. So this is what is working for them and they've done a good job. So I just want to bring that up. Um, I'm tempted to read some of this stuff. All right. So you can see that is stating stuff that we kind of already know, you know, beginning at least as early as 2022, offered and sold securities in the form of investment contracts in California. They actually been doing it much earlier than that, but okay, Novatech held itself as a crypto asset and forex trading platform, we know that um, as well. Uh, let's see, this just goes on that they created packages in the form of investment contracts referred to as packages. What else? Novatech facilitated deposits and withdrawals using crypto assets, including. So my whole thing is, how would they know this information if they didn't register or somebody didn't actually register? So someone wants to register and they probably went through the whole scheme and did a, a bit of research and brought all of this, right? Now, another thing is seeing Novatech averaged nearly 3% returns for investors per week and never incurred a weekly loss. Novatech never guaranteed any returns. There's nowhere in their paperwork, nowhere in their advertising that they guarantee any returns. As a matter of fact, they put a big disclaimer that future uh, earnings is not predicated on past earnings. Like they don't guarantee any returns. So this, that's what I'm saying. I think it's somebody who's maybe a resident of California, a member, told somebody, put all this information in and told them to uh, send it out. So, so a lot of this stuff, to me, it, it seems amateur to me. I don't think a, a kind, like a whole state, somebody in the state department will have time to really nitpick these little things. I just feel like it's someone who probably joined the company, 
put the information out there maybe you knew someone up ahead or up above send it to them and you put this together or maybe someone up above uh, maybe actually did the work I don't know it's hard to say but the problem is nobody signed the bottom so all of this work and this is by Marianne Smith and it has a seal but then there's no signature that's a red flag to me and then the second red flag is Novatech didn't get this physically they heard it just like everybody else heard it online so that's like okay if you have an issue with us why don't you just come to us and give it to us and if you want to see our books we'll show you our books See, Novatech has it in their policy manual that if you want to come into the books, they'll show you their books. They will show you their books. If they, they a, a private investigator came and requested to sh see the books, and they showed the person the books in order for one of their investors to invest. The end of that. Nobody heard the end. Of, like that was it for that story. Like they understand the game. They know the game. They're in it for the long term. They created this platform. For people like me, people like you who are looking for legitimate passive income opportunities that can create six, seven figure incomes that can take the money and invest in other things. That's my strategy. Invest in Overtech, invest in other hedge funds, even me personally trade, give money to my personal trader friends to trade for me, get all these streams of income, bundle it up, and then be able to invest in real estate. My YouTube channel, I'm going to grow it, I'm going to do a lot more better videos and everything grow my channel and the income from there will just come and I reinvest it in other things. You have to have multiple streams of income. And another thing you need to understand, Novatech's not registered in the US, so they don't have to get any licensing from the United States. They're actually registered in St. Vincent and Grenadines and they have to abide by their laws. And by their laws as a brokerage, um, what they're doing they're actually doing it very legally but they're doing it very smart right i think sometimes regulation is just a need for control as much as they want to protect consumers they also want to control everything i want you to think about it how many hedge funds exist that we don't have access to they don't give us access to it okay so somebody who has a hundred thousand dollars to invest why can't someone with a thousand a hundred uh, people with a thousand dollars why can't they invest so to me I feel like it's just a control mechanism for them to manipulate the financial markets and let the rich get richer and people who are earning average income or the lower bracket of the economy can't uplift themselves somehow right so something like this when they see a threat like oh my gosh an average person can actually make six figures seven figures and become a millionaire it it's a it's a threat to them because they want to be able to control control people and 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 that's how I see it because a lot of investments are not are not available to us they give us the peanut investments right the Roth IRAs the RSPs and all those things that give you peanuts like invest in TFSA what is a, a TFSA when you put it in and you're earning what two percent yes now it's four or five percent but yeah but because inflation is at eight nine percent right so for me, it's kind of like they just make the average person get by on a bare minimum. But when it comes to an opportunity that can make people and generate good wealth, it's like, oh, it's fraud. Be careful. It's a scam, right? But then again, guys, what do I know? I'm just an African guy on YouTube <laughs> creating videos for you guys, right? All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Again, I just want to make sure that I'm clear on this I'm not a financial advisor all this information provided is not financial advice I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money I'm just letting you guys know what I am doing with my money and basically my experience with Novatex this far I love the model and I believe the model is actually working and as a person that's looking to create a smaller size hedge fund with my professional trader friend and I um, it's a good model to follow and it also shows guys if you're a trader or anybody who trades money and you're really good There's a high demand for this service people are looking for passive income a genuine passive income Where there's actual trades you're actually making money and everything is Okay, now there is risk of course, but they understand risk So if they give you the money that you got to have your own risk parameters explain it to them and if they accept they give you money if they don't they don't invest right However, um, I really love this model, and Novatech has been a blessing to me. So when I share Novatech with you guys on this channel, I'm not trying to convince you to invest. If that's something you want to partake, it's up to you. 
you could join my team, but I don't focus only on Novatech. I have other hedge funds that we are part of, and I'm also really highly involved in real estate investing and other stuff, and now social media and YouTube. So we want to be able to create multiple streams of income, and I want to show you how. So again, I want you to like this video. If you like the video, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.